Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, not always told out of voice for radio. So today, we're going to be taking a look at Reshiram and Zekrom Tag Team GX. We knew it was coming, and now we know what it does. Shout out to the lovely Joe from Cerebi.net for providing us with a lovely translation. So... Reshiram and Charizard then. It's got 270 HP, which if I'm honest is about right for a Tag Team GX. It's got a retreat cost of 3, which is very upsetting. It means that you can't search it out with Poker Maniac. You can't give it extra HP with buff padding. Having a retreat cost of 4 is way better than a retreat cost of 3 at the moment. Weakness to Fairy isn't terrible, but we still see Gramble seeing a bit of play and Gardevoir and Sylveon still running around, so... There are decks being played that are going to take advantage of your weakness. And you're a dragon type. And being a dragon type kind of sucks because you're not hitting anything for weakness. And you don't really get that great extra tricks. We lost Devoured Field to do an extra 10 damage. And we've got Lance Prism Star. Whereby if one of your Pokemon was KO'd the previous turn, you can just... Grab a couple Dragon Pokemon out of the deck and bench them. But it's a basic Pokemon. You don't need that here. I suppose the best trick we've really got for Dragon Pokemon at the moment is Zinnia. That if you had a Pokemon KO during your opponent's last turn, you can attach up to two basic energy cards from your hand to one of your Dragon Pokemon. Which is handy. But you've got to have the energy in hand and you have to have had a Pokemon KO the previous turn. I'm not saying it won't work. Sometimes an absolutely will work. But Dinia doesn't see a huge amount of love. Okay then. So what does it actually do? Well, the first attack is the main attack and it's an absolute doozy. One fire, one lightning energy. Discard up to three basic fire or lightning energy attached to your benched Pokemon. This attack does 90 damage for each energy discarded in this way. So you're basically doing 270 HP. We'll get onto the energy and stuff in a moment, don't worry. But in terms of just the pure damage here, we're expecting to be doing 270. And 270 is great, because stuff like Pikachu and Zekrom, well, they're 240, they're easily KO'd. Reshiram and Charizard, which is the other, of course, Reshiram Tag Team GX, they've got 270, they're going down. Garchomp and Giratina's a really good Tag Team GX, they're going down. The only ones that aren't are Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. You'll be 10 damage short, so that loss of Devoured Field really sucks. And Magikarp and Waylord. Now, at this stage, it's probably worth pointing out, yes, there is an Altaria we can use to up the damage for Dragon Pokemon. Came out in Dragon Majesty, will survive the rotation, and it's got Fight Song, whereby all your Dragon Pokemon's attacks do 20 more to your opponent's active. You can use that here. And I think sometimes with the numbers, it's actually going to be really quite relevant. It's a stage one, which makes it slightly awkward. Interestingly enough, this will be a good target for Lance Prism Star. This is exactly the kind of thing Lance Prism Star should be grabbing. So we have got options. I talked about Dragon Tricks earlier. Maybe I could have mentioned Altaria. I mean, to be fair, Altaria is not really seeing any play. But then again, by the same token, Dragon Pokemon aren't seeing a huge amount of play. Maybe if Dragon Pokemon see more play, Altaria will see more play. Now the thing is, is discard up to three basic fire or lightning. Doesn't matter whether you do one, two, or three, it's just in terms of the damage. So if you're trying to take down something like a Jirachi or a Malamar or an evolving Pokemon, discarding one energy doing 90 will be fine. Against the majority of non-GXs, think something like a Volcanion, think something like a Blacephalon, think something like a Zapdos. You can discard two here, do 180, and you're fine. Except I'm doing a bit of a disservice here, because 180 will get a Dedenne GX, and it will get a Blacephalon and a whole bunch of other GXs. To be honest, non-GXs or basic GXs... You should be able to get a KO here discarding two energy. 180 is nothing to be balked at. And then, of course, if you start adding on Altaria here, things can get real pretty quickly. One energy here is 90, but with a single Altaria, now you're up to 110 and stuff like Zapdos is going down. 
to Altaria, and now you're up to 130, and there's a whole bunch of 130 HP Pokemon like Boswell that are going down. Two energy discarded is 180, but then you add one Altaria, you're up to 200, and you've got stuff like Ultra Necrozma going down. Or two Altaria, and you're up to 220, and you've got a whole bunch of stuff like Naganadal, which will be going down. My point here is that Altaria can actually really help you hit the numbers. I don't think you need to play Altaria here. I don't think it's absolutely vital. Because the fact of the matter is, you can always just discard free energy and do 270 if discarding 2 and doing 180 isn't enough. But something like Altaria can help you hit the numbers so you don't need to discard the energy. Speaking of which, getting the energy on Reshiram and Zekrom is honestly the most difficult thing here. And worth pointing out that unlike something like Blacephalon, you do have to discard the energy from your benched only. So whereas Blacephalon could lost zone its own energy to do extra damage, that is not the case for Reshiram and Zekrom. It's got to be discarded from bench Pokemon. But the fact of the matter is you've got Welder and Tapu Koko Prism Star. And those two alone are going to be super, super helpful. Tapu Koko Prism Star, when you lost zone it from the bench, it puts one lightning energy on each of two bench Pokemon. And Welder lets you attach two fire energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon and draw three cards. Now, you've also got Pikachu and Zekrom's first attack, which will attack three lightning energy. And worth pointing out, we are losing Kiawe to the rotation. A nice turn one Kiawe to stash four energy onto the bench would be lovely here. But once you've got the energy on Reshiram and Zekrom, you can just welder attachment for the turn. There's free energy. There's 270. Once you've got a fire and a lightning on Reshiram and Zekrom, it doesn't matter whether you're discarding fire or lightning energy from your bench. So the reality is here, because welder's so phenomenal, what you're probably going to do here is focus mostly on using welder and fire energy with a few lightning energy and then using Tapu Koko Prism Star. Though it is worth pointing out here that Thunder Mountain Prism Star will not work with this. Thunder Mountain Prism Star only reduces the attack costs of lightning Pokemon. This is a dragon Pokemon, so that's a little bit sad. Would be great if we could use Thunder Mountain Prism Star. And I suppose I should mention that we've got the Lightning Magna Zone that lets you attach as many Lightning Energies you like during your turn. The one from Forbidden Light. That would work nicely here. Just play a couple Fire Energy for Reshiram and Zekrom. But I think going Welder and Tapu Koko Prism Star is the way to go. The thing is, against non-GX decks, you're not discarding that much energy. And against big tag team GX decks, you only need two KOs to win. So I don't think it's going to be that difficult to get all the energy that you need. Without Welder and Tapu Koko Prism Star, maybe this wouldn't be good enough, but we have them, so we're fine. Second attack here, two fire, two lightning energy. This attack does 170 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If you played End's Preparation from your hand during this turn, this attack does 170 to another of your opponent's benched Pokemon. That's phenomenal. This is one of the new style of Tag Team GXs we're seeing here, whereby you get the extra effect not because you've put extra energy on, but because you've played a particular supporter. N's preparation will get its own video, but we'll have a quick look at it in a moment. Now, Pikachu and Zekrom does 170 to the bench with its GX attack. But that needs an extra free energy to do so. The second Naganadal GX, the one that's going to be coming out in Unified Minds, for one psychic free colorless energy, discarding two energy, does 170 to one of your opponent's bench. This does 170 to two. Now, if you can find someone who's relying a bit too much on Dedene here, this is absolutely ridiculous. But this might be an argument for actually playing Shrine of Punishment in a GX heavy deck. Because let's say you're playing against Blacephalon, which looks like it might be one of the best decks post-rotation. Or you're playing against Rayquaza, or you're playing against Ultra Necrozma. They've all got just a little bit more than 170. So if you can get a turn or two of Shrine of Punishment down, and then use this GX attack, that's four prizes in a single attack. That's redonkulous. If you can just get a bit of energy spread around the field, this can KO two tag team GXs and win the game in one attack. 
I'm not saying it's the only or even the best way to do it, but something like wheezing in the early game combined with something like Shrine of Punishment to just spread a bunch of damage around and then just bring in Reshiram and Zekrom. And the ridiculous thing about this attack is Tapu Koko Prism start to get one energy on, Welder to attach two energy from your hand, Lightning is your attachment for the turn. This can get done in a single turn. With Welder, Tapu Koko, Prism Star on your attachment for the turn, you can drop Reshiram and Zekrom and immediately have it powered up. And as good as the first attack is, and it is, you can literally drop this second attack as a surprise. So your opponent might be like, oh, he's playing Weezing and a few Fire and Lightning Pokemon. And then you just drop your one copy of this and all of a sudden you're taking four or six prizes. And that's kind of terrifying. Now, the one issue with the plan I just laid down, you cannot play Welder and End Resolve in the same turn unless you play a Lieutenant Surge's strategy. And then we're getting into awkward territory. So as much as you can get this going in one turn, you would lose the extra effect of the GX attack. But you can still drop it down and get the energy on and go... Well, the only way you can gust it up is if you've got a Great Catcher in hand. So unless you've got Great Catcher and a way to do 270 right now, I'm going to survive. End preparation then. What does it do? Discard the top six cards of your deck. If any of those cards are basic energy, attach them to one of your Dragon Pokemon in play. Oh, look. It's almost like I knew all along that this can replace Welder. Now, it doesn't draw you cards, and I don't think it's an every turn kind of thing. But as long as you can hit two energy with this, you can then go Tapu Koko Prism Star Attachment for the turn, and you are often rolling here. I mean, to be fair, this is the kind of Pokemon where there's a real argument to be playing Energy Switch, if I'm honest with you. The point I'm making here is that we've got ways to get this rolling. And we've got two phenomenal attacks here. And make no mistake about it, these are phenomenal attacks. You've got to get the energy out, but we've got ways of doing so. And then the first attack's basically doing 270, and the second attack should be taking you, well, two prizes against a non-GX deck, four prizes against a GX deck, six prizes against a tag team GX deck. It's going to add up quickly. As far as I'm concerned, this is a hands-down, no-brainer, five Wossy card. Yes, you've got to play a mixture of fire and lightning energy, but it means you can play Reshiram and Charizard. It means you can play Pikachu and Zekrom. We've got really good fire and lightning Pokemon. It means you can play Zapdos and Volcanion, for instance. I adore this card, and I am convinced it's going to see a lot of play very quickly. But I would very much like to know what you think about this card, so please be kind enough to let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays there's no pokemon there but there's lots of games and you can go and win yourself a game on that channel right now but by far the most important thing as always Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.